Miss penalty and the average memory access time. Miss penalty is the extra time which has to be spent during a miss. Consider a two level hierarchy with top level cache and the lower level main memory. As we have discussed in simultaneous access, when the processor requests for a word, the top level is first accessed and searched for the word, but parallelly the lower level is also being accessed and searched. Thus, if we can find the word in the cache, the hit time or the time taken is T1. And in case if this is a miss, then we have to spend an additional time of T2 minus T1 to get the word from the lower level. So here, the additional time spent during the miss or the miss penalty is T2 minus T1. And in hierarchical access, the word is first access, first search in the top level. Only if this is a miss, then the lower level is accessed and searched. So if this is a hit, the time taken is T1. Then if this is a miss, then we have to spend an additional time of T2 to get the word from the lower level. So here the miss penalty is T2. Thus in simultaneous access, the overall miss time or the overall lower level access time is T2. Among it, the additional time during the miss or the miss penalty is T2 minus T1. And in hierarchical access, the overall time spent during the miss or the lower level access time is T1 plus T2. Among the, the additional time which is required for a miss is T2. So in general we can say miss penalty is the difference between the lower level access time and the cache access time here in this two level or it is the difference between the lower level access time and the hit time T1. Now what is average memory access time in terms of miss penalty? The general equation for average memory access time is hit rate into hit time plus miss rate into lower level access time or the overall miss time. And as we have seen, miss penalty is the difference between the lower level access time and the cache access time or the difference between the lower level access time and the hit time. We shall express the lower level access time in terms of miss penalty as miss penalty plus hit time. Hence the equation become hit rate into hit time plus miss rate into miss penalty plus hit time. Hit rate is H1, hit time is T1, miss rate is M1 into miss penalty plus T1. Distributing H1 T1 plus M1 T1 plus M1 into miss penalty. And the hit rate plus miss rate is equal to 1. So we shall take T1 out. T1 into H1 plus T1 plus M1 into miss penalty. The equation becomes T1 plus miss M1 into miss penalty. That is hit time plus miss rate into miss penalty. So whether hierarchical or simultaneous access, another general equation for average memory access time in terms of miss penalty is hit time plus miss rate into miss penalty. Also we can apply this equation recursively to find the average memory access time for any number of levels in terms of miss penalty. So first consider this two level hierarchy. So here, instead of the access time of the main memory or the access time of the lower most level, what we know is the miss penalty to the lower most level. Then the average memory access time is hit time plus miss rate into miss penalty to the lower most level. Here the hit time is T1 plus miss rate is M1 into miss penalty to the next level or the miss penalty to the lower most level in case of this two level hierarchy and for three levels suppose if we suppose we know the miss penalty to the last level the miss penalty to the lower most level to find the average memory access time start from the higher most level hit time plus miss rate here into miss penalty to the next level Hit time is T1, miss rate is M1 into miss penalty to the next level. And the miss penalty to the next level is 
hit time here plus miss rate here into miss penalty to the next level hit time here is t2 plus miss rate m2 into miss penalty to the next level is already known so the equation becomes t1 plus m1 into t2 plus m2 into miss penalty distributing we get t1 plus m1 t2 into m1 m2 into miss penalty similarly we can find the average memory access time for any number of level using this recursive flow